Hello everyone, welcome to DigiBytes. I am Vaibhav Gupta, your Alteryx expert. And today we are going to learn how to optimize your Alteryx workflow in order to improve their performances. Then why wait? Let's start. There are various ways through which you can improve your Alteryx workflow performance. Let's understand them one by one. First is performance profiling option. You can see the Alteryx screen. So when we go to the uh, workflow settings here in the runtime option, we have a option of enable performance profiling. So when we check this button and run the workflow, we will able to see what particular portion of your workflow or what particular tool of your workflow took how much time. So you can see here summarize tool take this much time. Similarly, input tool took this much time. Similarly, browse tool and so on. So in this way, you will be able to analyze which particular portion of your workflow took the maximum time in execution and accordingly based on this analysis you can try to optimize that particular section of workflow which is consuming most of the time uh, while execution so this is the first way of analyzing that how you can see which portion of your workflow is taking or consuming maximum time and uh, you can start working on optimizing that particular section. Second thing that you can do to optimize your workflow is disabling the browse tools. Again, you have to go into the runtime setting and here you have an option where you can uh, completely disable all the browse tools together with checking this option of disable all browse tools. So you can see in the canvas here that all the browse tools have been disabled. So it further enhances the performance of the workflow. Third thing that you can do is you can cache and run certain sets of tools in your workflow. You see in this workflow, I right click on this input tool and uh, here I see an option of cache and run workflow. Let's click on this option. So you see there is a bubble that has been uh, put around this uh, tool. So it indicates that the workflow tool has been cached. So every time when this will run, this will use the data from the cache instead of going to the source, extracting the data and then running the workflow. So when you are doing a lot of testing or you are doing a lot of uh, rigorous changes and testing out your workflow. So this technique will really help you to optimize your workflow and run it again and again in a speedy manner. Fourth thing that you can do to improve or optimize your workflow is to reduce the size of the number of columns and the number of rows that you are taking through different tools in your workflow. If you see on the screen, we have a very small workflow which contains only eight tools. Now suppose you have a workflow which contains approximately 100 tools and uh, you have a source system which contains 200 columns and 10 lakhs of records. So if I do not do any manipulation in the data and uh, I do not uh, disable all the columns which are not needed, then the entire sets of 200 columns and all the three lakh rows will flow through all the hundred tools that were in my bigger workflow. So imagine that how much time it will take to process all these records and all these columns together and decrease the performance of my workflow. So the best way is that in the starting itself, I will select only those columns which are needed and deselect all other columns and also try to filter out or sample out the data sets with the help of filter tool or sample tool to only take the relevant data which is required 
for your data processing so that it will enhance the performance of your workflow by reducing the number of records and number of columns which are flowing through all the set of tools in your workflow fifth thing that you can do is logically enabling the containers for your tool sets utilized in the Alteryx workflow let's say i divide this workflow into two sections by utilizing the containers so i clicked here on these four tools and added them to a container one similarly the other four tools i added to another container two so uh, i want to execute only container one and i run the workflow so now what happened is the tools which i did not wanted to get executed i disabled them via container so it improved the performance because those tools were not required to execute at this time next time when i need them i just enable the container and run it so in the stepwise manner if in some cases i need certain part to be executed then i only execute that on otherwise i can disable that part and execute only the required one so it will in return enhance my performance the last thing that you can utilize to improve your workflow performance uh, in a good manner is to utilize the in db tools of alteryx so if we go to the in database tools or in db tools of alteryx we have various sets of tools like dynamic input output filter in db formula in db and so on we have n number of tools just like a normal uh, select tools and all so what advantages in database tools holds over the normal tools is they directly execute all the filter conditions all the formula logic all the queries that you are preparing into the db itself so it's not like you are extracting the data then doing the manipulation it's like you are directly doing the manipulation in the database itself and then extracting the data which is required for your data processing so in this way it will really enhance your workflow performance so that you will be able to execute it in much lesser time than while you are extracting data and then doing the manipulations Hope you all liked all the optimization techniques that we talked during the entire video and in case you feel any challenges in implementing any of these techniques or you have more suggestions please reach out to us via mentioning in the comments or writing us on the mail which is given in the description so thank you everyone and please do subscribe our channel and Keep watching our videos.